Welcome to Solving Equations Part 2. So you've looked at my first video and we've seen that solving equations involves unpacking, doing the opposite to what was done to come up with our answer. So I've got three quick examples that I'd like you to write down into your fact books and to either pause the video and have a go or watch it to the end and then go back and try and do it again, uh, whatever's going to work for you. So I've got x minus 5 equals 16. So you need to think about what did we do to the x. Well, if I just write to the side here, what happened to the x? x, well, it had 5 taken off it, and that gave us x minus 5. So we need to think about doing the opposite. So the opposite of taking away 5 would be to add 5 to both sides. And this is what you looked at last year. We looked at drawing little arrows down and adding 5 to both sides. So minus 5 plus 5 means the 5s have gone, and all you're left with is the x. x equals, and 16 plus 5, well, that's 16 plus 5. So 16 plus 5 is 20, and that is our answer, and that's how simple it is. So, let's have a look at part 2. Let's think about the y in this case. What happened to the y? Well, first of all, it was multiplied by 2 to give us 2y. And then we added 8 to it to give us 2y plus 8. So now we have to do the opposite. Now remember when we're doing the opposite, we're going back in the other direction. So instead of plusing 8, what do you think we should do? Well, you're right. We should take away 8 from both sides. Now remembering it's a balance. So what we do to one side, we do to the other. So if I have a look at this one, plus 8 minus 8 means that 8s are gone because it's 0. So I have 2y left equals, and 18 minus 8 is 10. And then what was the next thing I did? Instead of timesing by 2, I have to divide by 2. So let's divide by 2 because we're doing the opposite. Dividing by 2, and we get y equals 5. And what I should have done in the other question is we need to check our answers. How do we check? Well, we check by substituting in. So to check, I just do a quick substitution. So I have 2 times y, which is 5, plus 8. That's what this side of the equation is telling me, this part here. 2 times 5 plus 8 is 18 which is what the answer should be, so we know we have done it correctly. Okay, so what we have then is one last question that we have to do. Here we go. And this is the trickiest one of all. Let's have a look and see what is going on. So, we're looking at the x. What is going on with the x? Well, I've got my x, and what happened to it? Well, it was actually times by minus 3. It was multiplied by negative 3. So I have minus 3x. And what then happened to it is it had 40 added on. Because this 40 is positive. To give us 40 minus 3x. Could have been written as minus 3x plus 40. It's exactly the same thing. So let's have a look at unpacking it. So instead of plusing 40, what we need to do is we need to do the opposite. So we're going to minus 40 from both sides. So if we think about minusing 40, what we have left here is we have minus 3x equals, and I'm doing 22 take away 40. So you're probably going to need your calculators out. And let me just pop that into the screen. We're going to do 22 take away 40, and we can see the answer is negative 18. So, 22 minus 40 is minus 18. Okay, and then what happened? Well, the opposite, we multiplied by negative 3, so now we have to divide by negative 3. And divide by negative 3. And oh, there's missing that minus sign there. So negative 3 and 3, they cancel out. So that's, I'm left with x equals. 
18 divided by negative 3, well, 3, that would give me 16. And once again, you could use your calculators, grab that out, and we have a negative 18 divided by negative 3, and you can see we get the answer of 6. Okay, so once you can do that, you should have no problems with today's work.